the fuck is going on everybody welcome to the elite suite and today i am bringing you a new video regarding this week's marquee matchups now you guys saw us we uploaded the marquee matchups guide yesterday for this weekend it included boca juniors versus river plate gian book versus club america and various other teams but for this upcoming week dropped on wednesday night or thursday night there is going to be obviously another marquee matchups like there is every week. However, EA accidentally released this week's marquee matchups last week when the other marquee matchups was meant to be dropped. So everybody knows the requirements. Everybody knows what teams are going to be in the marquee matchups. And I'm going to be showing you guys what they accidentally released for about 5 to 10 minutes last week and see maybe if they are going to continue and use this marquee matchup or they're going to switch it up a little. So let's get into what they accidentally released. Here are the squads. I found them on Reddit, but Melbourne City versus Melbourne Victory, Manchester City versus Arsenal, Everton versus Liverpool, and Bayern versus Leipzig. These are the teams that are going to be in this week's marquee matchup if EA continue and actually use the marquee matchup that they actually created. If you actually look in the top right of the screen, it says marquee matchups, 12 days remaining. So that's obviously weird, and obviously they released it a whole week early. It was only meant to be released about five days remaining on the marquee matchup, but they released it a full week early, so there were 12 days remaining on it for the few minutes that it was released. But anyways, I've got the requirements for each one, and for this one, you need one Melbourne City player, one Melbourne Victory player, all Hyundai A-League players, along with seven nationalities. So, investing in this certain uh, squad building challenge here for Melbournes, um, you're going to want to look for fullbacks and, and uh, outside midfielders, I'd say. I'm not sure what formation it is, but I'd say fullbacks is a safe investment if they're from weird leagues or weird nations, that is. If you've got somebody who's a non-Australian fullback, I'd say investing in them would be a solid shout. But nonetheless, you got to be careful because if they change the requirements, then you might lose out on a few coins. But ultimately, I think it's a safe bet, especially because there's not much risk to it. So if you find some discard players for around 200 to 500 coins, I'd pick up quite a few of them. The next one is going to be Manchester City versus Arsenal. You need one Man City player, one Arsenal player, 11 rare players. You're going to want 82 rated overall squad and then a minimum of 90 chemistry. I would suggest not investing in this squad building challenge whatsoever because lots of people have probably already invested in Man City players, invested in Arsenal players, thinking that they're going to go up. But we're smarter here. Everybody knows that if you're going to invest in a squad building challenge that only requires one player from those teams they're gonna crash when the actual squad building challenge comes out the stupid investors are gonna dump their cards in the market causing a crash for manchester city and arsenal players and it's gonna make it very easy and cheap to pick up some cards the only players that i might suggest picking up are your 81 and 82 rated players but since they're such low rated cards i don't see them rising much anyways Plus, you've got players like Fonte and other 83 rated cards that are going to, you know, seal the deal for that rating. And you're going to be able to use a lot of 77 and 76 rated cards. Anyways, the next one is Everton versus Liverpool. The requirements on Everton versus Liverpool are one Everton player, one Liverpool player, a minimum of five nationalities, and exactly gold with 90 chemistry. Again, you're not going to want to invest in this one. Other than maybe getting a weird country from fullback or right midfielder, left midfielder, midfielder they're not really going to go up at all and I honestly don't even think that those investments would go up because you only need a minimum of five nationalities and considering that the Premier League is full of different nations it's going to be so easy to complete this challenge you'll have no problem whatsoever and it'll cost you around 8,000 coins when the actual squad comes out so it's really going to be super super cheap and don't invest because they're only going to crash because of stupid people that'll invest and then crash the market when the actual marquee matchups comes out. To finish it off, we've got Bayern versus Leipzig, where you need one Bayern player, one Leipzig player, 11 Bundesliga players, only four rare players, and only 79 rating, which is going to be super cheap and super, super easy. The only thing that you might want to pick up would be a very cheap 
gold Lipzig player because they don't have as many gold players as Bayern because they just got promoted into the Bundesliga this year. But other than that, I wouldn't invest in a thing. Just buy your one Lipzig player for super cheap. But I want to see you guys in the comment section below because what we see here might not be the marquee matchup that EA released. They might know that it's leaked and say, we're going to fuck all the investors over by changing the marquee matchup to something else. So let me know in the comments below what other games could potentially be a marquee matchup to replace one of these teams. Obviously, we see two Premier League marquee matchups there, so they could easily get rid of the Everton Liverpool marquee matchups or the Man City Arsenal marquee matchups. They can do whatever they want. EA want to throw off traders and investors, so you got to think through that and you got to know what to invest in because you do not want to be a part of the stupid investors that flood the market, cause a crash, and end up losing tons of coins. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did subscribe if you're new don't hesitate hit the sub button it's on your screen now hit the sub button and also drop a like on the video um hope you enjoyed your stay at the elite sweet peace ow